Hey guys, Mike the Gaming Dad here, and welcome back to the channel. This is episode 36 of my Skyrim Survivor Mode Let's Play, and the third episode since we started our quest to complete the Thieves Guild. So we ended the last episode just outside Riften, and we now are on our way up to Winterhold to complete the quest that takes place at Snowville Sanctum. And this is the one where we need to team up with Mercer Frey. So yeah, this should be interesting. And I believe what we also picked up in Riften are a few more of the jobs that we have to complete. Yeah. So we do have now uh, the sweep job, which takes place in Whiterun and the bedlam job which yeah we can actually do that now because we need to steal 500 gold in goods around rift and so yeah we'll do that before we set off and then yeah we'll carry on with our yeah speaking with silence it looks like a horse has uh, found something what is it oh, a frostbite spider let's take care of you there we go all right come on horse where are you going Something has spooked it. Ah, just going standing there. Right, yeah. Right, let's let's complete this uh, quest first. I will start off by going into the stables. Can we can we get in here without being seen? I wonder. I'll try it anyway. Now what can we steal in here? Your wine. Good sir. Food's a good thing to steal, even though it doesn't have a... Even though it's not great in terms of value, it, uh, it soon adds up. And also, once you've stolen it, once you've stolen something, uh, you can actually eat it or drink it, and it, it it doesn't reset. So once you've stolen it, it counts towards your total, which is good because none of this is going to weigh me down. Because what I'll do is I'm just going to absolutely gorge myself on it all, and then yeah, we'll carry on, carry on the journey. don't think gold counts though, so I'm not going to take that. Yeah, I'm not too bothered about what we steal. You know, gold's not really a, an issue. I just want to complete the this quest as quickly as possible. Guard could be an issue trying to get into Bowley's house. We can get into Aaron's though. Now, what can we get from here? I've just realised actually I was messing around with my settings last time I played and I think I've turned off the yeah the crosshairs. I'm just gonna put them back on. Take all of your Food and drink. And not much in the way of valuables, is there? Oh, what have we got so far? Food.
There we go. It's like it was never there. It doesn't look like we're stealing much as well, but it will. It does soon add up. <laughs> we've just, just realised what we've just eaten. Six cheese wheels. Gotta love the Skyrim mechanics. Right, let's try somewhere that might have a bit more valuables. What's this one here? Snow Shod Manor. This should be good. Right, what can we get here? Ah, what's this? Mammoth Tusk. Yoink. There we go. That got us over the line. So what we can do now is we'll return to Delvin and complete this quest and then we'll move on. Move on up north. I was reading some comments recently, I think Sorry, it might have been yesterday, and someone said that one of these beds you can actually sleep in. I'm just wondering which one it is. Ah, this one here, that's good. So we could have a quick rest there if we need it. I don't think, I don't know if we do or not. Oh, we're, we're quite refreshed actually, that's good. Yeah, I was looking last time we were down here, weren't I, at the beds situation. I couldn't find one that was uh, that we could sleep in. But it is good that there is one. Still right, Delvin. So, what could I I've do completed for you that bedlam job. Ooh, nicely done. Here's your share. Right, uh, any extra work? I handle the fishing, numbers, and bedlam jobs. The ones with a more personal touch. If breakings are more your thing, Go talk to Vex. Uh, tell me about the numbers jobs, please. It's like all these these have just reset. That's weird. Most of the establishments in Skyrim. Your job will be to change the number. We'll like doing a bit of writing. Yeah, I'll do it. Yeah, normally. Use you need. You get cool, but we've never heard of you. Normally, that those those dialogue options don't reset, but that's like we've never actually spoken about them. Welcome to. If you're looking for extra work, talk to Vex or Delvin. They'll fix you up. Uh, Tanilia, you are the guild fence, aren't you? I've got coin and I've got merchandise. Let's see what we can do. Cause I need to give you. Well, I may as well give you, sorry, this that I've just stolen, so, yeah. Have that. Right, then. Absolutely. Oh, really? Well, then. How can we make that happen? Right, what is this numbers job he's given me? Where is it? Make changes in the ledger at the Pawned Prawn in Riften. Should we do that while we're here? It seems silly not to do when we are in the... Uh, in the city. Feels like a while since I've actually played Skyrim, but I don't think it has been a while. I played it last week when I did the I covered the new Thief Homes that Eleonora has released on, yeah, Paid Creations. Uh, but it was probably about 
10 to 12 days since I completed, I since I last played the Let's Play series at least. God, is this where they sleep? Right, yeah, forge business numbers. So easy, these jobs. Like, literally the easiest ones. Yeah, I've been, um, I've been quite hooked on Fallout, to be honest. Fallout 4, if you are watching that series. It's been quite nice, actually, to be, to be, to be hooked to a game. It's not, I've not had that feeling for a while. I don't know if it's just because I've got older and priorities change, but I feel like 10 years ago, like the, like the early teens, for me, there was just so many good games that were coming out. Like, I played, obviously, Skyrim, and then there was, like, the first Red Dead Redemption, and... GTA and yeah then The Last of Us came out in like a few a year later I think that's just like a snapshot as well there were so many games I was playing around that time that were just like amazing I feel like I've not obviously I've been playing Skyrim still and I still love it but I've not had that feeling no, it was just where you like hook to a game and you can't get can't wait to get home to play it and, but I've definitely got that bug with uh, with Fallout 4 so pull up a seat I've completed the numbers job. I'd patch on the bag all day, but coins coin, right? And let's pick up another one while we're here. Great. What you wanna do? Uh give me another bedlam one actually, they're quite good. Sometimes we just like to remind a city that we mean business, so we hit them hard. Just steal whatever we can until we made an impression. Simple, right? Almost. The catch is, it doesn't count if anyone sees you take it. The message needs to be clear. We work in the shadows. Steal from anywhere in the hold. And you even get to keep everything you stole. So, you in? Yes, I'll take it. Nice. Yeah, this is what you need to know. Right, where's this one going to be, I wonder? White run. So now we have two that are in wire on. This is good, this. When when they link up, it's when one's in Rifted and one's in Solitude or, yeah, Winterhold and Falkreath that it's a pain. So this one could actually work out quite nice because I think our carry weight isn't brilliant. No, it's not. 250 over 285. If we go up to Snowville Sanctum like this, we're probably going to most definitely end up over encumbered. So what I might do is I might go to Whiterun. We can drop off our two... Uh, drop off some items that we're carrying. And then we will, yeah, complete both jobs there, and then and then carry on over to Windhelm. Need a ride? Yeah, I'd like to have your carriage, please. Where do you want to go? Uh, please take me to White Run. Climb and back, and we'll be off. Sun feels good, huh? Right, here we are. Let's just have some food first. There we go. Oh no, looks like we might have some uh, texture issue in White Run again. Hopefully it fixes itself when we get inside inside the gate, but I'm going to imagine when we get up towards the gate, it's going to be really pixelated again. We've had this like, uh, I don't even know what to call it. Yeah, like all this, this has happened before. Yeah, here we go. Look at that. It's ever since we completed the Civil War quest line, isn't it? It's just like White Run's just gone really, really buggy. Yeah, that's corrected itself now. In the city and not out in Riverwood. So, don't even have a what do we, what is it we need to do? So, 
clear Uthgird's house in White Run of Valuables. Where is Uthgird's house? Which one is Uthgird's? Is it up here? Yes, here we are. Uh, we, we are being watched. Can we get in? Three entrances to this house, or just two? No, just two. Spare. Right, what do we need to steal? Like we were never there. Oh, what I could have done actually as well. I should have stolen other things while we were there. Last time I came into Uthgird's house, actually, this one's uh, yeah quite quite nicely uh, decorated. I must say, I'm assuming Uthgird is going to be inside. Yeah, inside the inn because I never really see her anywhere else. I don't know why I was cr crouching around this house. I'll try it somewhere else. Carlotta at Valencia's house. Now she most definitely will be home. So hopefully she's in bed. Can I help you? Oh, there she is. Can we get past without being seen? No. She should be friendly to me actually though, because I've completed that quest to her, so. Yeah, you see, not everything here is classed as stealing, which means that she is a friendly. That's probably why she's not bothered about the fact that I've just let myself into her house at 20 past 3 in the morning. Let's try the clan Battleborn house. Spare a coin for a poor old beggar. Ah, oh, the guard can see me. I'll try now. Oh, there's got to be something of value in here. A wooden sword is not too bad. See if there's anything juicier though. Apple pie, yoink.
Ah, oh, someone's asleep in bed. Good old John. The man in white run who puts on his armour every day just to do absolutely nothing in the square. What's he got here? A loot. Should we steal that? Oh gosh, look at all this mead he's got. Oh, we must be getting close now. Don't want that goblet. It's definitely white rum. Ooh. What have we got here? Yeah, white run. Oh, it says we've done it. When did that come up? I don't remember that uh don't remember that appearing. We've not been seen anyway. Maybe, maybe, uh, I'm just wondering actually whether it counted. Although they have, they don't have a value, do they? So I thought maybe it counted when we picked them up. At least we're done though. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go over to our house. Yeah, we'll drop some items off, have a sleep, and then we'll probably do the journey to Windhelm by foot, I think, because by then it'll be yeah, the more early morning. Ah, <laughs> look at this. Ah, forgot all you were here. Where is... Who's eating the rabbit? Oh no. Rabbit's here. Thank God, Thistle. Thistle's not been eaten by Arachnia. Right, what can we drop off? I wonder. Do we have any dragon claws? I think we probably do. Oh, we've got a bee in a jar as well. So, sapphire dragon claw. We'll get you in. Uh, where is it? Bee in a jar. Can go up there. And then, do we have some weapons that we can also drop off? Dust fang. Uh, can go in and the headman's cleaver I think if I remember correctly that will be everything ah I forgot we picked up the fur backpack as well don't we? we need to fence that not to worry I can't be bothered picking up all these weapons and everything that 
fall out every time we come in. And the ebony blade on the floor. What's our carry weight now at 232? Two, two. I'm just going to work my way through all this. Well, some of it at least. We'll do some of it later on in the journey because we may as well make use of the hunger that it replenishes. Ah, oh, I didn't sleep, did I? That's what I need to do. I'll do that now. It's getting quite full in here, isn't it? We might have to rethink our uh, decision to send them all to one house. Balder, let's head over to Windhelm now. We'll do this journey on foot because it looks like it's quite a nice morning, at least. And yeah, like I was saying, it feels like I've not really not played Skyrim for a bit, so I want to take in this beautiful morning that we've got, the sun rising from the east. I think we'll be running into that sun sunlight. What have we got here? Ooh. You look like one of the disciples of Numera. I bet if I get off my horse and speak to you, you're going to tell me to, that you're about to enjoy your feast, but seeing as I'm the champion, I should eat first or something. And I'm not going to take you up on that because I do not have the ring of Numera anymore. Well, at least not on me. Yes, so Fallout. Fallout 4, I am hooked. I, yeah, very grateful for the people that voted for Fallout 4 in the in the poll that I held. Because, yeah, if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be playing that. And, yeah, it has definitely got its teeth into me. I have the bug. I'm not afraid to admit it. It's strange, actually, because it's, what is it now? Is it, like, nine years old? Is it 2015 it came out? And yeah, I've just never... It's always been on my mind as something I need to play, but because I'd never played any of them, it was almost easier just to ignore it a little bit. Because I think there was... Was it... One and two obviously came out a while ago, but then, yeah, three was like... Three was about the time that I went to university. Like 2007, maybe, 2008. And then I can't remember what came after. Was it... Was it New Vegas? I can't remember the order that they run, but then, yeah, then it was 4, and then 76, or something like that. It was just easier, just like when they came out, just to be like, oh, well, I won't I won't play it, because I've not played any of them, but, yeah. Felt very silly, considering, <laughs> considering how much I've enjoyed it, but... Yeah, it's nice to be playing it for the first time. It, it's, it, feels, um, it feels a bit strange, like I've had a... On the Skyrim channel, I've obviously had comments from people that are like... Uh, yeah, I picked this game up this year and I'm really enjoying it. Um, your videos are like really helping me or whatever and I'm always like, gosh, people are like picking up Skyrim now. Like that's like, it's like a 12, 13 year old game and I can't believe they've never played it and I'm jealous of getting to experience this for the first time. And that's almost like the position I'm in at the minute. Like I'm getting all comments from people like, I've put 4,000 hours into this over the last eight years and I love it. Like, can't believe... Like, enjoy your first playthrough. Um, very jealous. Wish I could do it all over again. And I'm like, that. that's how I was. That's the position I'd been in with Skyrim. Yeah, so it's interesting how the, uh, the tables have turned. Yeah, but, I'm, yeah, we'll try and get another episode of that done tomorrow if I can. Or Wednesday, because I may be out tomorrow. I normally do a pub quiz on a Tuesday with some friends. We haven't done it for a while because uh, illness seems to have taken us all at some point over the last month or so but yeah the plan is to go do that tomorrow so yeah, it might be tomorrow it might be Wednesday 
Uh, but what I also want to do is, again, this I want to do this tonight, but it may not happen um, because I'm filming this and it'll probably be late by the time I'm done. But I, I'm going to do a very, very quick update on the channel, probably like a two, three minute video. Uh, because I've, yeah, I've got some exciting, a few exciting updates to share regarding stuff that's coming on the channel, which, uh, yeah, will be uh, good. So, yeah, watch out for that as well. One of the things I am committing to doing, um, and I don't mind telling you this now, is I'm going to start using my Instagram, uh, my uh, gaming dad Instagram, more than I am doing currently. It's something I've spoken about a few times and then just never got around to doing it. At the minute, I mainly just use it for like, as another way of uploading my YouTube thumbnails. More just to see whether it drives any additional traffic to the channel. So obviously, I like whenever I post a video, I also post it on Instagram and link it, uh, link my channel and everything. So yeah, I th what I'm going to start doing, so I've been asked about this a couple of times, is I'm going to start, I'll probably use that more like my own Instagram because I do have a Instagram account. But yeah, I think I probably don't like a personal one. I think I've probably posted once in like two and a half years. So I think what I might do is I might just use this one as my main and then yeah, give you, for those that, for those that want to follow it, just give like regu re semi-regular updates as to what stuff I'm kind of getting, getting on with outside of purely gaming. Because you know, it seems to be that some people are like interested in, interested in that sort of thing, like connecting a little bit more and yeah, finding out a little bit more about what I get up to. Uh, so for example, like this week, this weekend, for example, I built a new dining room table, uh, bench and chairs in our dining room. Uh, so I posted a picture of that on there yesterday with the, uh, the dinner that we christened it with, which was amazing by the way, if you've not seen it. Uh, yeah, we had a, we had a Sunday roast, uh, not all the trimmings, like some of the trimmings, but it was amazing. My wife does make very good Yorkshire puddings so yeah we had several of those uh, but yeah we used to we used to have a dining room table like we, like years ago we had a massive one like it was enormous at our old house and then when we moved we kind of traded some space for uh, location so when we moved we got rid of our dining room table and then we got like a small like fold away one and it's been good but to be honest because it's because it's small and, f and it was away, it was easy just to kind of like ignore it because we'd have to get it out to like use it. So like we'd just end up eating like, like if the kids, like the kids were eating earlier than us, like if it was just me and Kirsty, we'd just end up eating off our laps in the living room. And that just became like a really bad habit. Like we just never seemed to have meal times together. Uh, but yeah, we decided let's get rid of that and we'll get a proper one again, like it, like an extendable one. Because uh, we, we hosted Christmas as well this year and that was kind of like, that was like when the penny dropped that this is ridiculous, like we can't have a tiny little table when we're hosting like eight people. So, yeah, that, that was my job this weekend. Uh, yeah, put down the game in and do a bit of DIY. So, yeah, I was really pleased with, ple pleased with the final result. So, yeah, check that out if you've not seen it. Good. You're finally here. I've scouted the ruins and I'm certain Carlia is still inside. Right, Mercer, you saw her. No, I found her horse. Don't worry, I've taken care of it. She won't be using it to escape. Let's get moving. I want to catch her inside while she's distracted. Take the lead. Okay, understood. Just make certain you keep your eyes open. Carlia is as sharp as a blade. The last thing I need is you blundering into a trap and warning her that we're here. Yeah, <laughs> no worry. Don't worry, that's not going to happen. Oh, Mercer Frey. I'm certain Carlia knows we're here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that was another thing about Fallout 4, actually. In the last episode I completed, I... Uh, yeah, it was, it was the quest where... Ah, uh, this is the horse that he killed. You monster, Mercer. You absolute monster. 
I've forgotten it. Potion of Brief Invisibility, we'll have that. But yeah, I completed the quest where you... You've got to locate Nick Valentine. And yeah, as soon as I got to Nick Valentine, I was like, oh, here we go. Another, another character in a Bethesda game that is voiced by... I can't remember his name now, but yeah, the person that's basically voiced like... Probably like half of this game. So yeah, he does get around. And I'll take these actually. Always useful. Let's get inside. Snowville, catacombs. Come on, Mercer, let us in. They say that these ancient Nordic burial mounds are sometimes impenetrable. Hmm, this one doesn't look too difficult. Now you're gonna get in? Go on. I guess it's easier when you've got the skeleton key. Quite simple, really. I don't know what the fuss is about these locks. All it takes is a bit of know-how. A lot of skill. <laughs> a bit of know-how and a lot of skill. Alright, it's just gonna be open now, yes. Find a Carlia. I'm gonna save my game actually, because I've not saved it yet. I need to get into a habit of uh, doing that more. It did crash on me last time I played when I was filming the um the thief homes. It's always a good reminder that you need to save more. Stench in here. This place smells of death. Be on your guard. Looks like Carly has already taken care of some of the Draugr for us. get in that room yeah there we go I want that potion so that then open this one no ah we can't open this one nothing through there pull the chain over there and watch out for the spikes looks like Carlia reset all of the traps Try and be relatively sneaky through here. Oh, your feeble attempt to hide is insulting. Go on, Mercer, take care of them. <laughs> He's running away. Mercer's after him. Oh, I've got another one here. And not the crossbow. Having issues last time, weren't we, with, with our shout? So hopefully this time it's corrected itself. Yeah, there we go. That's better. Ah, look at Mercer, single-handedly uh, killing all, killing everything.
Gold diamond ring. Wow, that is a that is a nice prize. Two more of them ahead. Got some traps here that we're gonna get rid of. Oh no, we don't have fire a fire arrow at it. Let's go with steel. Get rid of that as well. I just walk I just end up walking through everything and setting it all off. take over. He uses a Nightingale Blade, doesn't he, which is very, very good. Uh, Pre-enchanted pre sword. One of the better ones, I think. Although if you pick it up too late, when, if you're too leveled, um, it is very buggy. I don't think you can actually improve it. I'm picking up all these really poor potions though. I'm only really interested in plentiful and higher now. Yeah, plentiful, vigorous, extreme and ultimate, the only ones I'm really should be picking up at this at this level. That's stolen. I'll drink that. Resist fire, we might need that soon, so I'll keep hold on to that just for now. Stallion's potion. Three here. Who's there? Oh, four. Soul Draugr.
quite a lot of enemies in here, wasn't there? I don't remember there being that many. We dealt with them with relative ease, though. It's easier. Or Skiva. It's easier when there's three here to occupy them. Uh, coming in here alone would have been a bit of a different uh, story, to be honest. Quite noisy for someone who claims to be a thief. <laughs> oh, shut up, Mercer. Insufferable man. What was that? Your feeble attempt to hide is insulting. I realized I was attacking my own uh, Drago Scourge there. We want to kill you. Oh gosh, we've been stuck. That's not good. Do not want to be stuck between those three. I want to get the Draugr Scourge on his own if I can because he's the one who has you know, his health low enough that we can recharge. Mercer, sort it out. Being so smug, Mercy, you spent more time on the floor. That was quite a hairy fight. You very nearly got overpowered on more than one occasion, then. Yes, 
that's the issue when you play on uh, master difficulty when your weapons are not that strong yet every enemy you face is like a meat shield god we're making a meal of this come on I'm paying attention There we go. Have any shield of fire suppression? Yeah, we could take that, yeah. do you think Death Overlord. He's gonna be tough. <laughs> Try and hit this one from afar if we can. Now we've taken the Scourge down, so it's just us and the Overlord. Yeah, we, we made mincemeat of him. That works a lot better. Right, what have we got here? Let's go pick up the word wall. Eat a few more cheese wheels. We'll get rid of all this Nord mead, carrying so much of it. There we go. You are now stuffed. Who's there? How disappointing. Weapon disarm. That's our first disarm one. I thought we had more than that. <laughs> oh no. I just nicked, nicked all of that gnawed me, didn't I? Look at our damage, stamina, regeneration. Ow, ouch. It's not running anywhere for the next minute. Do we have the object for this? Does Mercer Frey have it? Ah, it's one of the infamous Nordic puzzle doors. Oh no, he uses the key, the, the skeleton key, doesn't need to Without get in. The matching claw, they're normally impossible to open. Since I'm certain Carlyle already did away with it, we're on our own. Fortunately, these doors have a weakness if you know how to exploit it. Quite simple, really. Carlyle is close, I'm certain of it. Now let's get moving. Do 
you honestly think your arrow will reach me before my blade finds your heart? Give me a reason to try. You're a clever girl, Carlia. Buying Golden Glow Estate and funding Haunting Room Meadery was inspired. To ensure an enemy's defeat, you must first undermine his allies. It was the first lesson Gallus taught us. You always were a quick study. Not quick enough. Otherwise, Gallus would still be alive. Gallus had his wealth and he had you. All he had to do was look the other way. Did you forget the oath we took as Nightingales? Did you expect him to simply ignore your methods? Enough of this mindless banter. Come, Carlia. It's time for you and Gallus to become reunited. I'm no fool, Mercer. Crossing blades with you would be a death sentence. But I can promise the next time we meet, it will be your undoing. How interesting. It appears Gallus's history has repeated itself. Carlia has provided me the means to be rid of you, and this ancient tomb becomes your final resting place. But do you know what intrigues me the most? The fact that this was all possible because of you. Farewell. I'll be certain to give Brynjolf your regards. Easy. Easy. Don't get up so quickly. How are you feeling? Hold on, you shot me. No, I saved your life. My arrow was tipped with a unique paralytic poison. It slowed your heart and kept you from bleeding out. Had I intended to kill you, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Why save me? My original intention was to use that arrow on Mercer. But I never had a clear shot. I made a split-second decision to get you out of the way and it prevented your death. Then I'm in your debt. <laughs> you should have shot Mercer instead. Should we say that? I promise you, the thought crossed my mind. The poison on that arrow took me a year to perfect. I only had enough for a single shot. All I had hoped was to capture Mercer alive. Why capture Mercer alive? Mercer must be brought before the guild to answer for what he's done. He needs to pay for Gallus' murder. How will you prove it now? My purpose in using Snowvale Sanctum to ambush Mercer wasn't simply for irony's sake. Before both of you arrived, I recovered a journal from Gallus' remains. I suspect the information we need is written inside. Well, what's it say? I wish I knew. Journal is written in some sort of language I've never seen before. Perhaps it could be translated. Entha. Gallus' friend at the College of Winterhold. Of course. It's the only outsider Gallus trusted with the knowledge of his Nightingale identity. There's that word again, Nightingale. There were three of us. Myself, Gallus, and Mercer. We were an anonymous splinter of the Thieves' Guild in Riften. Perhaps I'll tell you more about it later. Right now, you need to head for Winterhold with the journal and get the translation. Here, take these as well. They may prove useful for your journey. There we go, a few... A few poison things, things she's given us. Uh, can't you come with me to Winterhold? I'm afraid not. There are preparations to make. And Gallus' remains to lay to rest. I promise to join you there as soon as I can. No problem. Remember, speak only to Anther. Trust no one else. Okay, understood. He's such an ass, isn't he, uh, Mercer Frey? 
double crossing, snivelling little weasel. Well, now we have our, our next location, which is speak with Enthea in Winterhold. And seeing as we are halfway there, aren't we, from, from Windhelm, we may as well carry on north. You can see the college in the distance just behind the beautiful uh, red sky in the distance. So we've got a wizard fighting his own flamatronic. High Elf. I'm more interested in the wolves at the minute, so I'll let leave her to it. to hold. Enthea, my friend. Should have come here. Yes, yes, what is it? Oh, mm. we've been attacked. Everyone's just sort of stood up and got the knives around then. What's this guy doing? Jarl Kralder. Staring at the wall. Uh, yes, Enthea. Uh, yes, I've been sent by Carlia. Carlia? Then she's finally found it. Do you have Gallus's journal? Yes, but there's a problem. A problem? Let me see it. Ah, oh, this is just like Gallus. A dear friend, but always too clever for his own good. He's written all of the text in the Falmer language. Can you translate it? No. However, I know someone who might. The court wizard of Markar, Alselmo, may have the materials you need to get this journal translated. Word of warning, Alselmo is a fierce guardian of his research. Getting the information won't be easy. No problem. So we've got our next location, Calcemo. Stubborn as a mule. Be careful when you speak. Uh, I just remembered actually as well. Uh, we'll sleep here while we're here. Turns out run. Drink for uh, the but I'll just. Food for the hungry. Uh, oh no, I don't want to go into what you've got for sale. I want to rent sure a room. Sure but yeah, I've just remembered. I didn't pick up the the rare you. item trinket right that we need to get in. Yeah, in Snowvale Sanctum. So I'm gonna have to go back and get that, which isn't a problem. It's easy to do it when you're not in that quest anyway, so. Right, what skill should we level up? I think we're gonna go with, let's go with alchemy again. So we're nearly at the point where this is finished. Let me know if there's anything at least else. in terms of perks. I'll sell just about anything if it's worth my time. Keep that in mind, will you? Ah, burner. We do what's necessary so we can get by. Have to. Since I can't count on my ah. mother for anything. Yeah, she's not. With it being 11 p.m., she's not going to sell me the coral dragon claw yet, is she? In bed or working on winding up that way. Uh, what, your I husband? Brother? He's over here. Ran me, he's there. Can I help yeah, I was hoping I could else? get the coral claw while we were here, but I'm wondering whether the time's going to be an issue. We'll follow her back home and see if she will sell it to us.
I'm just the house car. Air is treacherously you cold. Something. You should speak to Kraldar. Just because we live in the middle of nowhere doesn't give Ranmir the right to drink himself into oblivion. Uh, do you get much business way up here? I'm wondering whether if we ask her this, she'll sell it to us anyway. Very funny. I'm sure you've noticed that Winterhold isn't exactly overflowing with people. So I'll sell whatever I can. If it's worth putting a price on, you can bet I'll do it. I've been burned a few times, made a few bad deals, but mostly I come out on top. Uh, you said something about a bad deal. I think this might be it, actually. Yeah, it was stupid of me. I shouldn't have believed the story and just refused the trade. But I didn't, and now I'm stuck with this worthless junk. What was the story? Some line about this claw thing in Ingol Barrow. He said it was worth more than its weight in gold if I took it back there. Something about placing it back in Ingol's chamber, I don't know. What was I thinking? Even if it were true, I'm not setting foot in some ancient tomb filled with who knows what. I could look into it for you. I don't even care anymore. You want to check it out? Fine. I'll sell you the thing for 50 gold and then it's your problem. Uh, yeah, there we go. I'll take that claw for 50 gold. Fine, here you go. You get killed on account of this thing? It's not my fault. Got it? But I suppose if it does actually turn out to be worth something, let me know, will you? Yeah, no problem. Until there we go. Time. Coral Dragon Claw. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to travel south again to Snowville Sanctum. We'll pick up the trinket that is in there. I can't remember which one it is, but I know there is definitely is one in there. And then we'll mo make our way over to Calsamo in Marketh because there's another trinket there as well. I think these are two are numbers four and five. So we should after this pot after these have two more. I think so I think there's seven in total. Yeah, I can't remember what number four is, but number five in Marketh is like a it looks a bit like a lexicon. And then number six is the bust of the grey fox, which you get inside uh, Mercer Frey's house and then the last one is the uh, eye is it eye of the Falmer or something oh no looks like we've got some zombies down there I'll stay away from them because there is five of them it looks like think we should be yeah nearly there sorry Bald I'm going to leave you out in the cold Where is this trinket held again? Let me think. It's not going to be in any of these smaller rooms. I'm sure it's further in. Ah, is it in this one, I wonder? 
could be No, not up there. We'll try Let's try down here. Could be up there actually. Could be that one. Go down here first though. It doesn't look like we've been this way. Ah, this looks familiar. Yes. The model ship. Because if we pick this up now, these are going to fall and set all this on fire. So, we need to back up quick. There we go. Nice and easy. Alright, let's get out of here. Now oh, I've checked that chest, haven't I? Some maze this place, isn't it? I forgot how big this one was. Who have we got here? Hired thugs. Ah. Who have we wronged, I wonder? Who have we stolen from? Give me your soul. He's a. Uh, he hits hard. Here we go. What's the contract say? Here is the agreed upon amount. I expect you to faithfully carry out my request to teach a lesson to the thief, Impostor Raloff. You need not kill him, but I have no qualms about it. If you deem it necessary, Meol the Lioness. I don't think I stole anything off Meol, did I? But, yeah, oh well. Your hired thugs were no match for me. To hold a stormcloak camp that doesn't appear until you've turned Winterhold over to the Imperials, doesn't it? Get out the cold.
fact, no, what I'm going to do is we're not going to stay here. Let's go back down to Riften because we can drop the boat off, the model ship, and we can complete those two quests, can't we? And pick up two more and then head, our way, head over to Markarth. Yeah, I should have brought uh, the horse over here. It would probably been quicker to go across the river. Need a ride? Alpharin, yes, I do need a ride. Where do you want to go? Uh, I want to go to Riften. Climb and back and we'll be off. I might have to stop and get myself a pint at Blackbriar Mead while I'm in Riften. Almost worth the trip all by its... You are famished. Can we eat? Yeah, it's going to have to be vegetable soup, I think. Maybe a few sweet rolls. I'll do. Here a second. Right, Delvin, first things first, let's give you the ship. Where are you? Up here. Pull up a seat. Have a drink. Would this ship model be worth anything? Well, well. I was looking for this little beauty. If you happen to cross any other unusual trinkets like this, be sure to bring them to me. I promise it will be worth the effort. What a delightful find. This should cover it. <laughs> He's always looking for little beauties, isn't he? But he never leaves this place. Uh, I've completed that bedlam job. Ooh, nicely done. Here's your share. No problem. Right, ready for some extra work, please. Great. What you want to do? Yeah, I'll do another numbers job. Yeah, sure. Got a business on tap that could use a little number rearranging. What do you say? Yep, I'll do it. Just remember the rules. Keep it clean and keep it quiet. Here's the details. Uh, ah, Riften. This is another one in Riften. Well, That's good. You done or what? Steal anything? Uh, yes, Vex. I about? am done. I've completed the sweep job. Fine. I guess you'll need your coin then. Right. What should we do? Extra work. I handle the burglary, shell sweep, and heist jobs. Most of them involve breaking and entering. If you don't like that kind of work, talk to Delvin. He runs the more up-close and personal jobs. Yeah, no problem. Let's do... Tell me about the heist jobs. Every now and again, we like to remind the shopkeepers that we're in charge. If that means breaking into their strong boxes and stealing something valuable from them, then so be it. Feel like doing a bit of shopping? The guild way? Sounds easy enough. All right, take this and get out of here. Oh, Vex. I was so moody. Ah, New Nissis Corner Club. We were just there recently. Shame we are not going back that way. But while we're in Riften, we may as well complete the one at the store here. 
numbers job. Not the store, sorry, the uh, the inn. I've never seen Miol this upset about anything. The city really gets to her. Where is it? Is it up? Yes, it's up. Anyone around? Ah, yes. Talon J is going to watch me like a hawk. Looking so for we work? need to I try need and get him away if we can. Yeah, we'll try it. What we're going to do, we're going to get him downstairs. And then we are going to quickly run up. Here he is. Right, go. Done. Aha, not fast enough, Talon J. We're earning some uh, pretty coin in this episode, that's for sure. what we're at now 22 nearly 23,000 I could actually buy some training couldn't I because we leveled up recently hey let's talk what training we should buy Delvin offers sneak doesn't he and Vex is lock picking but I don't oh, really want either of those yeah, I've completed the numbers job. Here's your share. Well done. Uh, extra work, please. Great. What you want to do? I don't really want to take another fishing job because our pickpocket's super low. So I might just go between these two for now until we can get more training. I should have done that in Windhelm, actually. I should have bought more training off the beggar. Uh, do you have any bedlam jobs? Of course. Don't forget to keep out of sight. It doesn't count if they catch you red-handed. You ready? Yes, I'll take it. Just remember the rules. Keep it clean and keep it quiet. Here's the details. No problem. Where's this one located? Raven Rock. Wow. Don't remember getting one over in Solstein before. Can we buy training from Ballymund actually? Because smithing is a good good one for us to do because we don't really level that often organically. The waiting. The yes, right, what's our level at? Is it gonna be enough? Sixty-four. We should be able to get us higher than that. Ballamond perform miracles with steel, eh? Uh, yes, actually. Let's see what you got for sale first. The finest weapons and armor. Anything that we can sell off. Yes, you can have that. And that'll do. Right, I need some training in smithing, please. You wish to do what I do? Very well. Yes, I do. Oh, wow, look at the cost of that. Nearly 2,000 for one level. Maybe I'll just buy... Uh, let's buy... Let's just buy a couple. If you need any more That's smithing, getting quite expensive now see. once you get up to those kind of levels.
Right, so this is gonna kill me, but Cigar. Need a ride? Where do you want to go? You take me all the way to Markov. And hopefully I don't die from uh, starvation on the way. Climb and back and we'll be off. Oh, there once was a hero named Ragnar, the red who came riding to right run. I can take you to any of the hold. <laughs> <laughs> there we go, look at that. Blurry vision, famished. Guess we need to go to the Silver Blood Inn. Yourself, sneak thief. Alms. I said alms, you backbiter. Come on in. How about a septum? Wait, of strong make drink two septum. And clean rooms. Like this is the Clepper. Silver Blood Inn. I'll let you yeah, I'd like to rent a room, yourself. please. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. No problem. I'll show you to your room. Let me know if there's anything else you need. Still need to sleep, don't I? There we go. Right. What food have you got for sale? Drink for the thirsty, food for the hungry. Let's have some of that cooked beef, grilled chicken breast, and venison chop. Remember. Ale is cheaper than blood in muck. There we go, satisfied. Right, where do we need to go now? Hard answers. They don't like us talking. We need to go speak to Cal Samo, don't we? Selmo. Ah, yes. Look, I'm very busy, so this better be important. Yeah, you're not swearing at me this time, are you? Because we've already helped you once. Uh, I hear you're the authority on ancient Falmer. Then you were well informed. I am at this very moment on the cusp of completing my magnum opus on the subject. I'm calling it Calselmo's Guide to the Falmer Tongue. It will revolutionize the way we understand those ancient beings. Sounds wonderful. Uh, perhaps I could view your work. Preposterous. That research represents years of personal toil in some of the most dangerous Dwemer ruins in Skyrim. You must be mad to think I'd allow anyone to see it before it's completed. Even after everything I did for you and Feline. But I'm a great admirer of your work, Persuasion, or what will it cost to change your mind? Should we try and see if he'll let me in? Because we helped, uh, yeah, him and Feline. Well, I'm not blind to the fact that you've been instrumental in improving my affairs at the heart. If you wish, you may enter my tower to view the museum section. But I'm afraid the laboratories are still off limits. That's the best I can offer. Okay, there we go. Selma's museum, at least we can get in. Dwemer Museum isn't open to anyone without the court wizard's permission. Yeah, well, I should be able to go in, actually. Why can't I go in? Because Council Moore doesn't want anyone to go in. He runs the museum. He makes the rules. You have a problem with that? Go talk to him. You'll find him in front of the ruins during the day, just down the tunnel. Yeah, well, actually, he has let me in, so you're going to have to suck it up, Buttercup.
Right, I'm going to do my best trying to get through here unseen, but if I remember correctly, it is extremely difficult to do because the guards are just, they're everywhere and they just see you, like, super, super easy. So, we'll see how we fare. Right here, for example, I think there's a few by this door. What happens if we pull this? Ah, so you can kill them that way. Maybe that's a good way of getting rid of them. Where are they? Right, that's those two dealt with. Laboratory key. Do we need these or not? I don't know. I don't think we do, but we'll take them anyway, just in case. It may help us get through. I can't quite remember in here where the trinket is. I'm going to assume it's further in, but... It's Calcemo's bedroom. Yeah, anyway. Let's keep going in. Ah, yeah, so we can unlock that door now with that lab key. kill them with a trap as well. There's three guards there, this is going to be an issue, but I think if you go downstairs, you can't, I don't think you can get through the ground level, can you, without dying? Yeah, I think if you go through there, you die. This one might be hard to get through, because I can't quite remember what the best strategy is. I feel like I want to set these off somehow. Could just snipe them, but I feel like I want to do it without killing them if I can. Oh, no, 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 no. through. It's not necessary that you do this this way, by the way. I'm just doing it because 
Why not? Ah, that's not that way. I've come the wrong way now after all that. Do I need to go that way up? <laughs> It'd be a very sod's life if I got if I got seen now. Oh, we've got more in here as well. Yeah, this is what I mean. Like, it's this... Trying to get through here, hidden, is just so difficult. Should have brought more potions of invisibility, really. So, let me just see what your route is. Do you go that way and then turn round? How quickly until you turn round? Right, so it's about five to ten seconds. And then when you go through there, how long is it? I'll make sure this is the right way to go. I think it is, yeah. Right, do I have another potion? Brief invisibility. Yeah. Right, now we'll go. Should just be enough to get us through. No, it didn't kill you. That's annoying. Damn. Right. This nearly worked. But now we've been spotted, so. Never should have come here. I can't. Uh... Oh, that that wasn't nice. Ah, here we are. Here is the Dwemer puzzle cube. Oh, we did better than I expected, to be honest. I didn't think I was going to get all the way through to here without being spotted. I nearly, uh... Method was right, just the execution wasn't great. What we're going to do now is we're going to go in here. Wizard's balcony, I think. Is this where we need to go? Yeah. come the wrong way here yeah. yeah I think it's this this way around you need to go isn't it So 
So when we when we take the Calcimo stone, uh, the uh, tracing of it, you get attacked, don't you? Well, not attacked, but they come in looking for you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this episode here and we'll complete the second half of this quest in the next episode. And yeah, hopefully on the way out, I'll try again getting through unseen. Um, nearly did it this time. Yeah, we'll try again uh, for the second half. So yes, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I'm Mike the Gaming Dad and I will see you next time.